one. And liftoff at dawn. The dawn of Orion and a new era of American space exploration. As you heard, it is called Orion. It is at the top of this Delta IV rocket, and it is going to space for the first time. It looks a lot like the old Apollo capsules, but it's much bigger, a yard wider on the bottom. Nobody on board this first test flight. This craft will orbit the Earth once, and then on its second orbit, will head 3,600 miles into space. That's the deepest the U.S. has been since 1972. Then Orion will return, testing its heat shield. And the question is, will it work as if the craft was returning from the moon? It's a four and a half hour trip with splashdown off the coast of Baja, Mexico. The capsule recovered by the Navy. A $370 million mission. As I mentioned, guys, this is the capsule that could carry us to an asteroid and maybe even Mars someday. Four and a half hours, it'll be over. And there it is one more time. It's always so thrilling to see those liftoffs. It really is. We are witnessing what could be the future of space travel. How is that supposed to take that whole process? This, this entire mission is four and a half minutes, and listen to this. Uh, when it finally begins the re-entry, it'll be at 20,000 miles per hour, and when it comes through the Earth's atmosphere, it will, it will see the heat shield come up to 4,000 degrees. Then it plunges into the Pacific, and so it goes from 20,000 miles per hour down to 20 miles per hour. But, you know, the telemetry here is unbelievable. The images are unbelievable. Uh, we have never seen these types of images. One important note, the space shuttle orbits at 250 miles above the Earth, they're going to 3,600 miles above the Earth. Wow. wow. Something to marvel at this Very morning. Cool. Tom Costello, thanks for being there and bring it to us live.